What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today I want to talk about um, Austin Reed's statement about the whole, um, you know, the whole player empowerment, player movement thing. So I'm going to let y'all hear that and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to get my spiel on it. See y'all in a minute player you are man the nba is not it's it, it's a privilege and if you were a free agent then you could choose where you, you were going to go right that's the business yeah but when you're not and you sign a deal man that's part of the business bro if you get traded somewhere like you got to go play man you know what i mean like for sure the whole and this started with like james and ben and all these guys doing this shit. it's bad for the league this is why our CBA deal that we just signed, and I don't even want to get heavy into that. That thing is, don't even get me started right. on that deal that we got going, because it's top heavy. That's why you're seeing all these teams right now with, you either make 50 million or two. It, yeah. It's the most lopsided contract teams. I, I mean, it, it's a joke, bro. I can't tell you how many mid-level guys are signing for vet minimum around the NBA. It's it's laughable. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, it's just it's a scary dynamic when you when 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 stars start acting like this, um, and I'm not a big fan of it. I got to be honest with you, and I'm a big fan of Damian. Uh, everyone knows. I mean, I've had so many battles with him. I've been in many playoff series against Damian, and he's probably one of the hardest players I've ever had to guard in my entire life. Everyone knows the clip where I had to like pray to God when he missed that shot, because uh, that's how good he is, man. Like you just got to hope he misses sometimes. Uh, but I don't, I don't like when stars do that because it's just like, what does every other player do? So because you're a good player, like you just don't have to show up. <clears throat> All right. So you heard that, right? So I agree with like 90% of what he's saying, but I think it dates back farther than that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like, this whole players forcing their they way out is like the employer empowerment kind of gone wrong. You feel me? Because it's like, it's a copycat league. Whether it's playing styles, how teams are built, it's all copycat. You know what I'm saying? So the first player empowerment move was LeBron going to Miami, right? That was cool. Ain't nobody ever, I mean, old heads had a problem with it. Fans, His fans didn't have a problem with it. Blase, split, whatever, right? That's a whole nother video. But then the copycat move was KD going to the Warriors, right? It wasn't exactly the same, but it was similar, right? Ain't nobody like that. They ain't like it, right? So, but you've seen the results, though. So, it was like LeBron went to Miami, got some chips. KD went to Golden State, got some chips. So, then it's like the other players like, I got to be able to make a move, right? I got to I gotta go and control my fate also, right? But the difference was everybody wasn't in contractually, everybody wasn't in a position to just wait till there's a free agent. You know what I'm saying? So, now, <clears throat> the first holdout situation, it's funny because everybody want to bring up Harden. Like, he brought up Harden, but I, actually, it started with AD forcing his way out of New Orleans. We conveniently don't bring that one up. That's kind of like a double trend. It's like, you know what I'm saying? You had to, the dip out with Miami, now you got the force out, and we we know he went to go help. Right? Then, it was Harden, Houston, you feel me? Now it's Dane, and Portland, but it's like, you can't expect the lead to like, that's when it, like the force out thing is out of hand. Like, the free agent thing, that's cool. But to force out, you know they gonna do something. They not about to let y'all keep forcing y'all way out of these long term deals. Like what did y'all what what like what did y'all expect? Like, mm 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 mm. 
I, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it, cause it was too like, the space between it happening has been too short. You see what I'm saying? Like, if it would be like one guy do it, okay. Three, four years go by. Four, five years maybe. Another guy do it. You know what I'm saying? The league probably like, oh, whatever. But it's like, it seems like every year is somebody forcing their way out. Every two years is somebody forcing their way out. So, and I think what, what Austin issue is, is like the superstars is messing it up for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because now, like he said, it's top heavy. It's either you making 50 or two. That's a big difference between 50 and two. I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i pretty sure it ain't literally two, but somewhere in that, like it's a huge discrepancy in the money. So, players is going to have to deal with it at this point. Like, I don't really know, like, what's the, um, what's the solution if they already didn't got their collective bargaining agreement set up. You know what I mean? But it's like, that's what happened when you went with the copycat league thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? When, but this is what it is. When you're championing for doing something, of course, players going to think if they duplicate that, then they're going to get the same flowers, which it wasn't the case. The only person got championed for controlling their destiny was LeBron. You know what I'm saying? KD do it. His rings don't count, right? It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. You know what I'm saying? So, and everybody else, did nobody else really, like, work out like that? Like, James did it, but what what, what did he get? Like, like, some players, like, you was the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just the team. It was you. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a whole other one with James, though. Like, bro. You got to relax. Like, you need to go be the third best dude. But <clears throat> I'm curious to see, like, what's going to be the future for players now. Like, how was, how was this going to, like, how how was this going to affect everybody in the future? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I knew it. I seen it coming when players kept forcing their way out, forcing their way out, forcing their way out, like, I ain't about to keep messing with these 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 dudes' money. Are like, they paying you? Like the NBA is a privilege. It's only four hundred and something of y'all. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you gonna do it, do it the way LeBron did it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's if you going if you gonna go on another team, do it when you a free agent. Don't be don't because you running the jug. You know what I'm saying? You out here, I, I got it. You sign a deal. When you start signing deals and you got three years, four years left or however many years on your contract and then you forcing your way out, that's when, like, the league, like, like well, hold on now. We, y'all, y'all, y'all getting out of hand. You know what I'm saying? It's getting out of hand. You know what I mean? But it's, I still personally feel like it started. It was like the player empowerment, which was going to Miami. Just getting totally out of hand. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, <laughs> it need to be a governor on it. And now y'all didn't let these billionaire owners govern it because y'all ain't governing it yourself. Like, if you going to jump, at least, at least do it when you a free agent. Because now y'all messing the money up. Y'all is, boy, y'all is messing it. Listen. How this a collective bargaining agreement? Listen, they, if the money that different, I'd rather just be bad on the be good, be on a bad team putting up twenty five, so I can just be one of the people getting a big bag. I don't even care about <laughs> if I could be. I'd rather be Jordan Poole or Kuzma in Washington than than the fourth than the fourth best player on the team. Then, if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? If, if the money that different, hey, I go to Orlando, put up twenty five. Get my 300, 250. See y'all in my next life. I'm rich. You feel me? Like, that is crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see how this play out long term. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the 
if 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 it work. But see, that's the thing. When they fix it, this is this is the thing. Like, right? It's like when they feel like they fix the problem. Why would they change whatever they did to fix it? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they feel like the player movement is the problem, then they change the collective bargain bargaining agreement and that fixed the problem they not going to go back to what they what was the problem in their eyes so that's that's really the risk you run like if they they do this it work oh yeah y'all oh, oh, it's over now like that's just how it's going to be like alright <clears throat> it's going to remind me of that day Japan we never should have gave you <laughs> you know what I'm saying y'all know how that go but uh I'm going to leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe. If you disagree with something, go on, argue with me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Put your little 10 cent in the comments. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace. Ugh.